Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this, which is the Predator 2 Ultimate Armoured Lost Predator. Predator 2, 30th anniversary on the side there. 30 years. Gee. I remember that. Yeah. Um, there is the instructions on the bottom. Requires 2 times 1.5 volt LR521 battery cell batteries. Batteries included. And there's little instructions for how to put the batteries into the head. Which is, I got really excited when I saw that. I, I, you see the pictures on the on the things, and you think, oh, it looks like it lights up, but this actually does. The helmet does actually light up. Some very cool looking stuff down the side of there. There is the blurb, but I guess if you're already reading this, you're gonna know who he is. Ah, uh, plus I've filmed this video twice, reading that out, and I'm dyslexic. It it takes too long. And it sounds weird. So there you go. That's the thing. right. Let's open. Let's tilt this down a little bit. There we go. Let's open the box. Oh, oh. Wow, that looks pretty cool. I know when I saw this on, um, I got it from um, Tin Soldier. Go have a look for them online. If you're in the UK, they're a UK company. Do a lot of these figures and uh, hot toys and all sorts of other stuff. Go check them out. They're, they're pretty good. There he is himself. Pretty cool looking. I am. Ex I'm excited for this one. You know, sometimes you get figures and you have the box and you go, eh. "This one, I was like, ooh, that looks good." Yeah. Anyway, yes, let's get this open. Um, where did I put the knifey thing? There it is. So we cut through there. Open it up. Right, he comes. Oops. Which kind of fell over. Is there anything in the bottom of there? There's a little piece of paper, which is the oh, some more instructions for changing the the batteries. Oh, for activating the batteries. Actually, you got to take the little tag out. Oh, okay, cool. Good to know, because I might have been sat there for ages when mine it lighted up. <laughs> right. So, what kind of ties have we got in this? We've got those kinds. So, we have some. <laughs> got some scissors. See, I've kind of got clever though. I should have got some smaller scissors. So I'll do it over here because I know how much you guys like to see me amputating my hands and fingers and things. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with what NECA are doing with these Predators. Do you know what, these are a lot harder to cut, these tags, tags. because They're really tight to the body and you don't really want to be sticking knives and things in there. Got it! Excellent. Still one's around his wrist. There's not really a, a lot of gap to get your scissors in and things. Let's see if I can do it around that one. There we go. Got that bit out of there. Excellent. Just move all of those out of the way. And there, so it doesn't fall over. Right. Wow, it's a very different kind of paint job for a predator because he's he's kind of blue, which is interesting. There we go. Um, his spare hand that fell out of the box. Let me just have a close up of that. Don't move him so you can see that while we've got it out. Look at the detailing on that. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Definitely impressive. Right, I should put that there. So, let's have a look at the bad boy himself. Um, I like that backpack. That is a very different, you know, a very different look for a Predator. Because it's usually all coppers and golds and silvers and things, but this is very blue. Very dark, but I don't know detail on that face. That is amazing. And a very different, I like the eyes. Very different colour and pattern for the head as well.
It's nice as well because look, they've painted the the pegs this time. Apart from the leg ones. Eh. There's always some that they seem to miss. But yeah, that is a nice, very different look. The backpack as well is definitely going to be a lot securer because that is... Ooh, I like that. I presume that's not removable like most of the others, which I'm I'm fine with because then it doesn't pop off on your shelf in another two hours when you've posed them all. The dreadlocks are very, very rubbery on this one, which is nice. And he's a stander. Right, let's get these other swords and things out of the... Hold the ow, held down with a bit of sellotape. I'm just stabbing myself with my own thumb. Oops. Throwing weapons. Other hand. Other head. There we go. And finally. Right, everything out there so we can. Timber! There we go. So we pull the tab out. Which will activate the batteries. In there. All right, the batteries have kind of come loose. Me doing that. Let's see. Wow, they are tiny, tiny little batteries. There we go. I'm not sure if they're in the right way around now. Let me check those instructions they gave me. If I can find what I did with them. Pull out the tab. Right, and the battery should be put in next to it on the bottom of the box. Right, that's why. The batteries are the wrong way around. Let me just. They've popped out in the packet and then sort of flipped themselves. Right. Still putting that in the wrong way around. Excellent, right. Where did I do with it? Right, so that's the battery's going there like that. You see that? Make sure that the flat bit goes that way. Then that bit goes to the front and press that in. Light up. Toe up. Let me just. is pretty cool yeah I like that That's... and then you press that button there so we get to focus just on this I'll go out hmm I like that that's impressive right lights back on so he has his sword which obviously doesn't light up um, Still nice. Got nice. Uh, so let me move him out of the way because he's he's focusing more on him than what I'm showing you. There's blade, nice red on there to the end. And we have his angry face. From the reading the description on the back of the box, I think I'm going to leave him with the less angry face. I think he's he sounds like more of a serious character. Yeah, I like the paint job, I like the eyes, I think the eyes are really well done. You can see in there. Really good. Nice level of detailing on the head there. Yeah. Let's say the helmet, the... It's kind of weird because you can't see the detail as much with the blue. The eyes do look pretty cool little. And he also has a cutting disc. Some nice chrome in there. Yeah. But 
yeah well no I think this is a great paint job very different look but I think there's a few of the classic sort of bits in there I do think they've maybe reused an odd bit just out of interest articulation wise head <laughs> kind of left and right arms again the usual stuff these this is our rubber but it goes up to about there elbows pretty good all the way up to there so you're gonna get you know close to the face um there is a little bit of tilt forward and a little bit tilt back this is connected at the back onto a there so it's not connected to him so it will move as his body moves which is good a bit green blue and green mm. um swivel in the waist there again that being attached to the belt helps rubber belt the usual you can see in there ball joints legs out legs in back for oh ow very pointy fingers forward back knees two i guess they are yep double i mean who needs double joints you're never going to get done look, you stabbed me yeah but nice uh yeah oh no uh foot usual sort of swivelly stuff down there so yeah Ooh, already got in look at that that's a pretty cool pose we like that the sword obviously will go in the additional hand i'll leave that for now looks pretty good and we'll also fit into the um, scabbard. I put it in the wrong way around. I guess there's a right way and a wrong way. Yeah, there we go. Fits in nicely into there. Comes out the bottom there. So if it does get stuck, you've got two ways of getting it out. You can push it. Also got some kind of. I think that's that the like the the net gun on the back there. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Nice detailing. Very nice detailing. On the back there. Try and show you as much detail as I can. Nice wrist gauntlets. Oh, they also have a swivel in them as well. And the hands do have a bit of give as well. Yeah. I am I am well impressed with this. This bit here is rubberized, so it's manoeuvrable. Yeah, I like it. I, you know... It's nice that they're making ones that aren't related to the films. I'm thinking... I think I'm going to leave him with the... I like. I, like, I don't know why, I like that face. The light-up idea is good. I'm going to figure something out with him holding it, I think. Uh, just for scale and things. Here he is with the Predator 2. It's in its Predator 2. Thought I'd show you the Predator 2. And the Alpha Predator who's a big guy and has to have a disc because he falls over a lot. Um, just out of interest, I was in my local Forbidden Planet the other day. 50 quid for that guy now in there. I didn't pay for that for it. I got mine from um, Tin Soldier and I, I what paid like 30 quid. So yeah, dog got Forbidden Planet. That is a very cool figure now. But yeah, that gives you an idea of the scale and the look of them. Shift in. It's too out of the way. I've just rearranged my um, Predator shells. So it looks pretty cool now. I may have to film a little bit. He comes in at, oh, just under eight and a half inches. Or just about 21 centimetres. So yeah, a very, very impressive figure. Which stands, I, I like that. It's just got, I don't know, there's something about it that's just like, wow. And the weird thing is, there's a magpie sat outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but he's chuntering and it sounds like the noise predators make. I can't do the noise, but it sounds like it. It's really weird. But yeah, guys, I recommend this one. This is a 10 out of 10. So if you've enjoyed this video, what I would really, really, really like you to do is hit the likes, hit the shares and hit the subscribe buttons. It's all a big help to the channel. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, uh, things that I want, things that I've, I do videos of that get the bigger views and the bigger likes and bigger subscribers encourages me to do more of those. So if you're a Predator fan and you want to see more of my videos of these, just hit that subscribe button, particularly hit the like button. So yeah, thanks guys. Have a great day, a great night and 
I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.